Two days ago, we released a video about how maybe there's still a chance that Apple still makes it into the AR race, but seeing what happened today has made us lose all hope about Apple once again. We have been studying Apple's every move since 2019. This video goes in detail about how another top executive left Apple, what it means for Apple intelligence, what it means for Apple itself, so let's get into it. Everyone thinks Apple is quietly building its biggest AI comeback, that somewhere behind those glass doors in Cupertino, a secret team is crafting the next revolution in artificial intelligence. But what if the truth is the complete opposite? What if Apple's AI dream is slowly falling apart, one resignation at a time? Because here's what's actually happening. Apple just lost another key, AI executive, Kay Yang, one of the people leading its efforts to build AI-powered search technology has officially jumped ship to Meta. And this isn't a one-off case, this is part of a pattern. You might think, okay, people move between companies all the time. It's Silicon Valley. That's normal. But no, not like this. Over the past few months, Apple has quietly lost multiple top AI engineers, including Roaming Pang, the head of AI models, and several others from the same division. And guess where most of them are going? Meta. Now that's the part that should make Apple nervous, because Meta isn't just poaching talent for fun. They're building something Apple doesn't have. A fast-moving, public-facing AI ecosystem that's actually shipping products, not just internal projects. Apple, on the other hand, is still trying to make Siri sound like it knows what you're saying. And that's the irony here. Apple, the company that basically invented the modern smartphone, can't seem to make a voice assistant that doesn't get confused by set an alarm. They were supposed to fix that. That's what Kayang's team was working on. Smarter web integrated AI for Siri and search. That was their big bet to compete with Google, OpenAI, and even Perplexity. But now, the people who are building that future are walking out the door. And let's be honest, you may think Apple losing a few execs doesn't matter, but in AI, talent is the product. Models, algorithms, and frameworks are all open source now. What really matters is who's capable of building the next leap. And right now, those people are leaving Apple. Here's the twist though. Apple's been trying to project calm. Like everything's fine, the machine keeps moving, and the upcoming Siri upgrade in March will blow everyone away. But when you look closely, these exits tell a different story. If your top people leave right before a major product update, that's not confidence. That's a signal something inside isn't working. So what's going wrong? From what insiders are saying, it comes down to Apple's culture. It's famously secretive, closed off, and slow to roll out public-facing AI. Engineers want to test, iterate, and release. But at Apple, everything gets buried under layers of approval and privacy rules. It's great for security terrible for innovation. And while Apple plays it safe, Meta is doing the opposite. They're rolling out open models, integrating AI into Instagram, WhatsApp, and Quest, and making their tools accessible to users and developers. So when you're an ambitious AI engineer who wants to actually build and release, where do you go? You go where things ship fast, you go to Meta, and that's exactly what's happening. Meta's building an army of ex-Apple AI talent, while Apple keeps promising that its AI moment is coming. We've heard that line before. Here's the funny thing. Everyone still thinks Apple will surprise us, that they're secretly working on a grand AI reveal, something world-changing and magical, just waiting to drop. But the magic doesn't come from secrecy anymore. It comes from iteration, feedback, and community, the things Apple's not great at. So maybe it's time to stop believing that the next breakthrough will come wrapped in a polished keynote presentation. Maybe it's already happening in labs at Meta, in open source projects, and in startups run by the very people Apple couldn't keep. You might think Apple is the sleeping giant of AI, quiet now but ready to dominate when it wakes up. But what if it's not sleeping at all? What if it's just stuck, too cautious, too private, and too slow to move in a world that now changes week to week? That's the story behind these resignations. It's not just a few people leaving, it's a signal. A signal that the AI race isn't being won by the biggest company, but by the one brave enough to move fastest. And right now, that's not Apple. 